Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. We are at Wedge Pond today, which is located in Kananaskis. And I thought this would be a great background to make a video. First off, I would like to thank you guys for helping me reach to 5,000 subscribers. Thank you so much for your love and support. You guys have been really supportive and I'm so grateful for that. Thank you for following along with my immigration journey. Now, I did get a lot of messages recently asking me how did we book driving classes in Calgary and how to get car insurance in Calgary and what is the procedure. So I've decided to talk about this today. So the first thing you need to do is book your classes online and how we did that was we went on Google and we searched for driving academies which were near to our place and the one which we found which had great reviews was My Way Driving and one thing to know about here in Calgary or Canada in general is they are very big on reviews so the reviews are always authentic in Google make sure to check out the reviews before you're booking something or even going to restaurants any places just check out the reviews first the course itself took 600 dollars each and it included 15 hours of online classes and 10 hours of in-class training the 15 hour online classes are mandatory if you're looking to get an insurance reduction because at the end of that 15 hour class is you they'll give you a certificate which you can show to the insurance company and they'll give you a bigger reduction compared to just taking the classes for driving so if you have never driven in canada before make sure to get the whole package instead of just the in-class training now the online classes were pretty straightforward you just have to look at the lectures online and at the end of the 15 hour class is when they will ask you to give a test and you have to get 80 percent for the certificate to be delivered to your email for the in-class training it's 10 hour session and it's divided into two hours so each class is about approximately two hours. Pickup and drop off is free within the city. And the instructor will help you how to understand more about the car, how to increase in speed, how to maneuver the car properly. Especially if you have never driven a car before like me, for first timers, it's mandatory to get in classes training and as many hours as possible before you sit for your exam. For me, my first class, I was super nervous because I've never driven in anywhere in the world before, never even sat on the driver's seat. And to be sitting on the driver's seat in Canada was a great and nervous experience. Uh, what I did wrong was I booked the class during rush hour. I booked it at 4 p.m. so 4 to 6 p.m. and that's the peak hour in Calgary me being super nervous because it's my first day and on top of that it was rush hour so I was freaking out but the instructor was pretty nice and they have a break on their side and they do have a side mirror to check everything an additional side mirror so you are in good hands but make sure to not book the class during 4 to 6 or 4 to 7 p.m. Make sure to book those classes in weekends, during mornings, or if you're even doing it on weekdays, make sure to book them around 11 to 4 p.m. Anytime before 4 and anytime after 10, because that's again the rush hour to get to work. There are five classes in total, and he mainly teaches you how to drive in residential areas and how to control your speed and how to do uphill downhill and parallel parking and at the end of the 10 hours class is when you can book your test and you can give the exam so let's talk about the actual test day as he booked his test with south trail crossing registry and the driving test costed 122 dollars with tax this is the most expensive registry so far in calgary and the reason we booked with this registry is again, we saw all the reviews and this one had the highest rating where it said that they pass the test takers on their first try. The other registries cost around $90 
and we decided to spend extra just to get it done on the first try. The exam was at 10 a.m. on April 16th and it was during Ramadan so we were both fasting. He booked his last class with the instructor two hours before the examination time and this is to help you get familiar with the route you will be giving the exam in. You can ask your instructor to help you practice on that route on the day of the exam, especially if you don't have a car and we didn't have our car. We had our car, if you remember from my video about how to buy a car, I'll link it on the description if you haven't watched it yet. But we couldn't drive it because we didn't have the driver's license, the insurance or the registry plate. Booked it with the instructor. The instructor came at 7.30 a.m. to our place and I requested to come along with him so to help him practice and also be there for moral support. He practiced for two hours and the instructor took him to the route where the exam was supposed to take place and he practiced twice in that route and he practiced how to parallel park, downhill parking, uphill parking and practice in the playground zone where you have to limit your speed to 30 and then again up it to 50 when the playground zone ends. And finally after practicing for two hours was his test time. So I waited in a nearby store when he gave the exam and his test was around 25 minutes and thankfully he passed it on the first try. So we were really excited because now that means that we can get to drive the car as soon as possible. The car which we got around a month ago but we couldn't drive it because we don't have the appropriate papers now to get the papers done. So they gave him an interim license which means that he can start driving from the day he passed his test and then we went to another registry to get his license plate. Now license plate here runs from January to December and you need to register or renew your license plate every year at the end of December so we have to renew it again on December 31st. Since we got it on April so we didn't have to pay for the whole year we just paid for the remaining eight months and it costed $66 to get that license plate. Now let's talk about car insurance which is the most important part because if you don't have car insurance you can't really drive. Now before I talk about car insurance I want to talk about the three types of car insurance which is there in Calgary and they are liability insurance collision insurance and comprehensive insurance. Now liability insurance means that if you hit another person's car then your insurance is going to cover for the other person's car's injuries and they are also going to cover for their medical expenses but they are not going to cover for your injuries or damages to the vehicle. And then collision insurance is where the insurance protects you as well so if you hit somebody else's car or if somebody else's car hits you you get coverage for your car and the last one which is comprehensive insurance it's let's say if there are any natural disasters like fire or floods hurricanes so your car has coverage from those natural disasters if there is any theft vandalism then the insurance covers for your car damages or injuries. When we did our insurance, we only opted for liability insurance because it's the cheapest option. Now, liability insurance is a must in Canada. All cars have to have liability insurance, but the other two are optional, so you don't really have to have them, but it's obviously best if you have all three of them. The reason we went with just liability insurance and not the other two is because it's cheaper and if you're driving for the first time in Canada, your insurance is going to be higher than those who have been driving in Canada for a while and we decided to just gamble on this option and go for liability insurance right now. So what we did was we googled um, TD insurance first and we put in our car's VIN number and the license number and we got a rough quotation of how it will look like for the year. Then we googled top 10 insurance companies in Calgary. We called all those numbers in Google and we got quotations from each of the companies and 
To get the insurance here in Calgary, it's more like haggling, so you have to haggle a lot and see which price fits you the best. So after calling all the 10 companies, we got a great quotation from Peace International Insurance and they gave us a quotation for $2,000 per year and it's only if we get the liability coverage. So we decided to go through with that. Kazi had to submit his insurance paper so he had to submit his certificate which he did online and also his driver's license and they did everything within minutes they kept us on the phone while they processed everything so we had to send them through email all the documents the car's registration number as well as we also had to send them the car's ownership papers they processed the papers and they gave him an exact quotation of $1,900 per year. So how this works is you can either opt for monthly installments or you can opt to pay it in one go or you can pay it in three installments. Now you need a credit card if you're doing monthly installments or if you're doing three installments. You can't do it if with a debit card and if you don't have a credit card, you need to pay the entire amount together. So I have a lot of friends in Calgary itself who pay the insurance together in one go. But since we already purchased the car and it was an expensive purchase that time, we did not want to pay the entire payment in one go. So we wanted to break it down in installments. The reason we went for three installments instead of monthly installments is if you do monthly installments, then they're going to increase the price a little bit more so it's gonna be like 210 to 250 dollars per month compared to doing the three installments they're just gonna break the 1900 into three installments and you pay it within six months and you get uh, clear of it and obviously the insurance runs for the entire year so we got it from April to next April and we have it insured for the whole year so that's how we got our insurance and it was all ready to go we are now driving our car. It's been six months since we are driving here in Alberta and we are getting to see all the different places which wouldn't be possible without a car. I hope this explains you guys how to book classes here in Calgary and to get your car insurance. If you have any questions, do leave them in the comments below and I can definitely help you out. Also before I go, a huge shout out to my in-laws in UK for sending me this hoodie. So Rukai and Ben, thank you for sending me this hoodie if you guys are watching. And if you've liked my video today, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you're new. Hope to see you guys in my next video. Till then, bye!